Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. I'm out here on New Smyrna Beach. Beautiful beach. Take a look at this new video explaining why French drains work, how they work, and how slow they work. Be sure to check out the new channel, French Drain Science. The link is in the description box below. Okay, do you recognize this? This is clay. We got this from one of the job sites. I just took a bucket of it. You can see it. Just took a bucket of it. And what I'm gonna do is grind it up and go through the screen to make a very fine powder of clay. And we'll repeat some of these experiments. French drain science. So you can see just how fine going through that screen is making this clay. We're making particles of clay. And you can see it down there, that's just dust. Okay, here's our first event rainfall. You know, a couple inches uh, within the hour. And just kind of watch that water level as it goes down through the soil. At what point will the French drain begin to flow? Another event rainfall. And you can see water level is still just going down through the soil. Another event rainfall. Saturation level is now below the French drain and nothing's coming out of that drain. At what point will that French drain begin to flow? You can see the water in the top corner. It's just sitting there on the surface. And another event rainfall. Still no water is coming out of that drain. We've almost reached total saturation. At this point, that soil is almost completely full of water. Still nothing coming out of that drain. Another event rainfall. Basically, this is just, you know, throughout the entire day of a storm. Now the soil is totally saturated. At what point will this water begin to flow? Can you see the water up there in the top corner? The surface water is just sitting there. You can see at almost 23 minutes, it took that water 23 minutes before it began to just dribble out of this French drain. Very slow drain, very slow French drain. Fabric wrapped French drain. The fabric really slows down the outflow of water. It's draining and you can still see at the top the surface water. Can you see that corner? Still there. What happens if we push a piece of pipe down to the drain? In other words, say we added a catch basin. Can you see all that water just sitting on the surface? This is clay soil. So if we pushed a pipe down to the French drain and scraped off that fabric, watch what happens. Almost immediately that water begins to flow. 
because we gave that surface water a place to go. Catch basins collect surface water, and without the catch basin, this would remain totally saturated for days. You can see, if we put a catch basin on the surface and allowed it to drain into the French drain, this system will work great. French drain in clay soil wrapped in fabric, it takes a long time for it to drain. Yes, it does drain, but it's very, very slow. It will continue to drain until that water level gets below the French drain. At that point, it becomes dry again. Clay soil blocks up the fabric. See how silty that is? That's pure clay. When that soil breaks down, it clogs up that fabric. The solution is to add a catch basin and a French drain to every system. Okay, remember the other, when I took this sand one apart, let me tip it forward. Look at that, hardly any water comes out, just hardly any. Let's go ahead and empty this guy out. Take them apart. Here's our fabric, and just look at that. You can see, just look how much mud is stuck against the fabric, won't allowing that water to get into the system. It's just that simple. Clay is a much different soil, much, much different soil. Okay, let's wash this guy all out, clean him up, and let's do it again without the fabric. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains, reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day. Be sure to check out the new channel, French Drain Science. The link is in the description box below.